For these questions that have an underlying thing that we need to find the function of, remember, you're, you're focused on that underlying part, but we still should be reading what goes on around it. But remember, that also might mean, though, that some of the trap answers are going to be about other sentences. And so we, we do want to make sure at the end of it, we're, we're really focused on the underlying portion. So let's see what it's all about. Uh, this is adapted from this novel, Israel is a young man wandering through New England during the late 18th century. He hired himself out for three months, at the end of that time, to receive for his wages 200 acres of land lying in New Hampshire, his employer proving false to the contract in the matter of the land, and there being no law in the country to force him to fulfill it, Israel, who however brave-hearted and even much of a daredevil upon a pinch, seems nevertheless to have evinced, throughout many parts of his career, a singular patience and mildness, was obliged to look round for other means of livelihood than clearing out a farm for himself in the wilderness." So just be clear what's happening in this passage, right? So do we understand it? Um, basically, we have he's promised land, right? But the employer is proving false, lied, and uh, he's not able to fulfill it. So he's looking around then for other means of livelihood, right? So he's pl promised something, but he's, he's not getting it and he's not fighting back, okay? So now let's look at the choices. This underlined part implies that Israel treasures a particular characteristic of his personality when that characteristic should usually be regarded as a flaw. Well, he, I don't know that he treasures it. I, I guess, you know, we're, we're kind of just getting the narrator's perspective, aren't we? And plus, the, the thing that really bothers me here is usually. What is the characteristic that should usually be regarded as a flaw? Being brave-hearted? Being a daredevil? Um being patient and mild, the, the things that I could point to here seem to be generally good things, right? So maybe it's a flaw in this particular story, but I don't think they're usually a flaw. And, and that's the key too, is right? What, who's to say what's usually a flaw and what isn't? That's a claim that would require, you know, really a lot of evidence to prove. We, we're not allowed to bring in our outside opinions of what personality traits are good and bad. So this, this choice, I can't point to anything in the passage, but also I, I feel like I have to go out of the passage in order to even consider this choice, and that's not a good sign. Let's look at B. It suggests that if not for a certain aspect of his character, Israel might not have been as easily thwarted in his ambition to establish a farm. So first of all, was he thwarted in his uh, ambition to start a farm? Thwart, thwart means stopped, right? So was he stopped? Yes, right? That's what I highlighted, basically. He was promised a farm, Something, the, the boss lied, There's the law is not going to help him, and so he's just like, all right, I guess so much for that dream, and that's it. So he is not establishing a farm according to these lines. Um, now, the underlying portion specifically has to suggest that if there's, if there's some sort of part of his character, his personality, that is causing the problem, what could it be? Well, I guess if he's patient and mild, then uh, basically he's letting people roll over him. And, and take advantage of him. So that makes sense. Uh, that kind of fits with what's going on, right? Normally, that's a good quality. But in this particular case, it is allowing someone to basically steal from him. So I, I get it. I don't, I don't, I'm not convinced that that's the answer, but I can, I can make some sense of it. Let's see what the other choices look like instead. Uh, C, it shows why Israel would not have been able to undertake the enormous amount of labor necessary to run a farm, even if he had owned the necessary property. So, okay. Is that what's happening here? Are they saying that he was incapable of actually running the farm? No, he did not get a farm. So we will never know whether or not he was able to do a good job or not. So just because you are patient and mild and brave hearted does not mean you can't run a farm. Those are just not good. They have, they, those are qualities that have nothing to do with each other as far as I know. I'm not a farmer, but that's the point, I guess, right? I shouldn't have to be a farmer to know whether that's a good farming quality or not. So this, again, is bringing in some sort of outside information, but more importantly, it, it's not, he, he would have failed. He, he just never got the farm. He never got the chance. Uh, D, it explains why when the situation requires it, Israel is able to undertake courageous acts that others would generally avoid. Well, it does say he's brave-hearted. So to me, this is the biggest trap because I think a lot of you are going to be confused and just be like, oh, he is brave-hearted, brave, courageous. Those, those words are the same. He's a daredevil, right? That also maybe implies that he's, he's taking risks and chances and being brave. Uh, but he's uh, like other people wouldn't avoid this. I don't, first of all, I don't know what other people would do. So can't really get into that. But second of all, He's, he's not standing up for himself, right? The rest of the passage is telling us that he's just like, oh, well, so much for the farm, uh, that's it, right? So 
The problem is that, uh, however brave-hearted and even much uh, of a daredevil upon a pinch, so right, th this however here is kind of, it's not quite the same as when we use it in the transition questions, but it's behaving similarly. They're saying he is brave-hearted, he is a daredevil on a pinch, but he seems nevertheless to have been uh, throughout his career, more patient and mild, meaning he's not using that personality trait of being brave-hearted. He's not advocating for himself for whatever reason, right? It's just, we, it just didn't happen. So um, he is not undertaking any courageous acts, at least not in this situation, even though maybe in others he could. Here, they're, they're saying he's not being brave. Uh, he's just letting it happen. And that gets us back to B, which again, I, I wasn't convinced was right from the start, but I can justify it, whereas the others I can't. It suggests that it's not for a certain aspect of his character, right? The fact that he's patient and mild, right? Not the, the brave part, but the patient and mild part. Um, he uh, would not have easily been thwarted, right? If he had been brave, if he had been more of a daredevil, he might have been able to, to get the farm. But for whatever reason, we don't know, he just isn't that way when it comes to his career. And so his boss just stole the farm from him and that's that. Tricky passage, couple trap answers, but hopefully we can see how these choices work and maybe make sure that we don't fall for traps uh, on future questions.